It's uh, yeah, usually for the, for the surprise effect. I ask people to get in and then uh, they experience this atmosphere and then I ask them to stay there I wanted to design a house that had, for every weather type, a different room. It's almost like you're, you're changing your, how you change your clothes. Like for every day, you, you look at the weather and you, you decide what you're going to do that day. If the weather is good, you will lose your jumper, which in this case is like the, the wooden shell, the outer, outer shell. And then if the weather's like super good, you also lose your t-shirt and you're like enjoying the weather in your, uh, in your swimmers or something. I want to have the space which within seconds you can, with a very small footprint, you can keep changing things for what you want to do. So this would be uh, for summer, when you have like nice weather, there's almost no wind. Like you really don't need a roof now. I mean, on the contrary, you really want to be outside. And, uh, but it's still really nice just to hang out in your super nice bed or to sit in your chair next to the fireplace. You can literally combine that here. In spring or autumn, when it's still nice, but sometimes maybe a little shower or maybe there's a little bit of wind or you can close the whole thing, like the glass. Um, uh, the glass layer or you can also you can close it halfway so you can also say okay i'll keep this one closed so i sit a little bit protected from the wind so yeah either halfway or you close the whole thing so then you literally also when it in the spring obviously because it's a little greenhouse when it's like 10 degrees outside and the sun is out, then quickly you will be 22 degrees here. So, okay, so this would be autumn and spring. Yeah. And then winter. So this will be winter, uh, almost. So this would be winter. The whole thing is insulated, but also, I mean, it's also a change in, in atmosphere, right? So now it's really cozy. It's also about exposing yourself or not. Maybe you're sitting here with your loved one and you, you like some privacy or you're just writing your book here or you're telling stories. Then, then this is maybe, this is like a super cozy space. I did a master's degree in physics and I worked for a technology company. But I always had this love for architecture. And every year that I was studying physics, I was like, uh, I still had this urge to actually do something with architecture. So I wanted to jump to architecture. At some point, I was talking to my mother and she said I was thinking of buying this prefab little prefab house for, for my uh, land in the forest. And then I th thought, okay, this may be a, an amazing opportunity. So I said, okay, what's your budget? Why don't you hand over the budget to me and I'll design it and build the whole thing as well. In a project like this, it, it would also mean that I would build every day. It was an amazing year, just sitting here and every morning, rain or no rain or sunshine, just cutting wood. There's so many different things to, to learn. So I, I particularly like working with wood and with my hands. And I think in a project like this, it's so important to talk to everyone. Like, I talk to the people who make the wheels. I have uh, uncle, he's also a maker. He also built his own house at one point. So 
discuss it and, and try different things. What are the different wheels we can use? And in a way, I really think, especially in, in, in design and architecture, it's so, at least my approach, just talking to everyone, yeah. talking, discussing. So I was thinking about doing this. What are other ways? And then just keeping, yeah. keep the conversation going about it. Because even when you think you have a brilliant thing, often there's still so many things you haven't thought about. Had you seen this before, a home that moved like this? No, actually I hadn't seen it. I always liked the look of these more like uh, engineering things maybe from my physics background, but I, I think it was a nice opportunity to use this kind of aesthetics, I think. So tell me technically how this works. I mean, it looks so easy when you move it. Yeah, I mean, it's super simple. It's just like every layer is carried by eight wheels and they're, they're industrial wheels. So they can actually carry up to 300 kilos each. I think these things are about a little over 1,000 each. So it should be more than enough. And these trusses are just to make sure it's not gonna make this kind of movement. So it's not gonna tip over that so way. So the set support, yeah. structural. Yeah, this is pure, yeah. The goal was always for my mother to, to like, uh, be able to, to do it, obviously. I think it's quite easy. It's more like, I mean, it's still 2,000 kilos, so it's more like the initial pull is quite heavy, but then when you let go, it will just keep going. So it's, it's not, uh, I always say it's a bit more than a normal door, but. <laughs> but the technology or what's making it so easy. I mean, you're moving a house. You're moving the walls of the house. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. With one hand. Yeah. So, what's making it so easy is. It's a very low friction system. Yeah. So the wheels all have double bearings, so they are extremely easy to push around. And are they an industrial type wheel, or what's? Yeah. The... I went to a special. There, there's this company who does like uh, I don't know, one million different wheels for any kind of uh, yeah. It's not, there's no automation, I mean, it's all. That was also the point. We wanted this to be all manual. I mean, that's why we choose the, the wood stove for, you can use it for cooking, but obviously also to heat the space. From inside here, it looks like two. Yeah, so there's like four rails and there's four moving parts. So that's the, the wood layer. And then this is like the, the glass layer that goes as well. So. The, the, the idea is that you have for every weather type and season, especially because in the Netherlands you can get literally all kinds of weather in one day, you have like a different, different layout. It's fully insulated, everything. So in winter you can, with this stove, you can really get a, a nice and warm, cozy little place. There. Oh. there is some plugs, but I hit them in the floor. I want to have like a pure aesthetics on the inside. So it's not like you need to access that too often. You leave it plugged in. Yeah, the point is that you plug it in. I mean, usually your switch is somewhere here, so you don't really need to go there. Ooh. Actually, the, the initial idea was to make everything fold from the floor. So we planned a bathtub that we have fold out beds. But the thing is that my mother and some guests were actually complaining that these beds weren't very comfortable and my mother's back was hurting. So we still didn't have any furniture. So the, the neighbor, Pete and Aix, he is a maker next door. He is at, uh, you, you can use uh, my stuff, just fill it uh, up. And I think it looks really cool. Also, it would be great to have a bath in here. I mean, I'm already exploring how I can heat the bath with this stove and you sit here like in the sun in your heated bath. I really like that for, yeah, for me, I love nature and I love design and I love beautiful furniture. So for me, it, it really comes together in this project. 
My mother also said that I want to be able to put a long table and I have like a really nice dinner together with friends in the, in the forest. So if you push these down, uh, push these out, you, and actually I should change the other ones as well, but then you get like one big covered space. So you can close these. The initial idea was that the platform would be sort of a suitcase that would have all the facilities in it. So as soon as you need a bed or your bath, you just pull it out of this like big suitcase. And then you sort of cover yourself with something more light, like almost like an umbrella. And also for occasion. So if you push the whole thing out and you have this like long space, it's, it's like 50 square meters. You can put a, like a long table and have a party with guests or uh, something else that is, I quite like. If you push these out as well, my mother has six grandsons. So if you push these out as well, you can almost create sort of this uh, little theater. And then we push this, this out. And you have, you have a stage here. We put up the chairs on the grass. So you can literally here with the family, we'll sit here and look at the children uh, play. I think that's pretty cool. The idea is to not be cut off from your environment, like be part of it. So when the sun shines and the weather allows, you just open up and you can wake up outdoors with the rising sun in your super comfortable bed. My mother, she just loves nature, so she also wanted to be more in touch with it, sleep under the stars. Have this little house away from home, which is like super near home, but still like escape from the world a little bit, I guess. My mother said she wanted to have like a little house in the back yard just for sort of as a hobby space to she, she's working on, on a book. Also like to throw a dinner in the forest. There's different ways that architects tackle this. Either you come up with different spaces with different atmospheres or yeah, I mean that's the usual way I guess. You have like the four seasons, let's say. And then this is the other uh, layout where you have sort of a, an extra, autumn. extra space. What's that? This is autumn. No, no, no. <laughs> autumn, autumn is what, yeah, you can, obviously, you, you, can use, you can use that for yeah, autumn as well. Nice to go out there and still see some. True, but that's mm -hmm. also what you, yeah, okay. So you mean like, because you have the shade there, yeah. you can still open it. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I understand. Yeah. So you could actually sleep with it like this. Yeah, you can do right? it. Yeah, you can also sleep it. when it's open and you see the stars. I'm very happy. The way it's made, uh, it's so beautiful. I can yeah. look for it, at it for hours. So have you slept out here then with, with the open? Uh, yes, I slept here. This is my dog. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it's actually the nicest thing you can do. Yeah. Like just being outdoors and being yeah. warm enough. The starting point was, okay, you, even if this house wasn't here, you could already live in this spot, right? I mean, it would be a bit harsh, but to make it a comfortable spot for an average human being, you need a bit more. So the, the starting point was the weather, the seasons, literally the environment. So what can you do to keep you connected to the environment as much as possible? But in the same time, have, have the, no, the comforts that you do want as a human being. And also when the roof is closing, it's such a beautiful sound. It sounds like thunder or yeah. heavy rain, you know, yeah. Sound, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> because for me, the, like the spring and autumn, 
is when the glass layer is actually in the middle and the wood is on the outside. Yeah, what I like about this is that it's still sort of cozy because you still have this bounded area, yeah. but you still have the view. And, and it helps that it changes though as well. Yeah, awesome, yeah. Because yeah. you're kind of getting, what, four different rooms for one? I mean, you get the, I can't even keep track. <laughs> I don't know how many different <laughs> Well, I mean, there's also in between spaces, right? I mean, you can also like push them a little bit out. So you're still in the shadow and, but you have like a little view here or something. You can literally play with it. Mm -hmm. and we do. Yeah, so, because also you can push this side out and say, oh yeah, even this, okay. uh, like yeah, opening up a little bit or you turn it around and say, okay, I'll open this. So I have a bit more space indoors. And then close this. So this gives a different atmosphere again as well. But also, for example, when, it's, when it rains, you, you're maybe with more people and one wants to do some yoga exercise or I don't know, something you need space for. Then you push this out and you do your stuff here, create a bit more space. But for me, it's not really about increasing space. That's like one aspect. It's more about changing space, changing atmosphere, changing yeah, utility. What my mother says is now that she has this place, she's almost like ready to sell uh, her like house where she normally lives because she has all her stuff here, what she needs. I love it to We just need to create the, we don't have the toilet yet, but I mean, that's quickly building one. Are you limited because of insulation or anything like that? Can you insulate something like this? No, I, this one has five centimeter insulation, the outer shell. When you close it, it's all windproof. So you don't get any wind. For now, maybe a little bit of wind from here. But at the same time, you don't want to close it too much, I think, because if you put on that stove, it, it heats up so much, you need fresh air as well. So I don't feel that it's necessary to close it up more. Uh, but it is super easy to do it. That, no, I don't know. The limitation, what is the limitation? I don't know, it just requires maybe a different attitude, no? I mean, you, you have to be willing to change maybe your customs, your, how you live a little bit. And, but actually, I, I always stay in this house when I'm staying with my mother. And it's just so pleasant just to, because it forces you to be outdoors. Usually at some point, okay, I've been indoors till two because I was doing stuff on my computers. And here you, you can just do all your stuff, all the stuff you like, but you can still be part of your environment. There's different ways to tackle the problem. I mean, yeah, this is not necessarily the way to do it, but I do, th what I like about this concept is that you have like this tiny footprint, but you don't get sick of that little, I mean, if it's just a house with closed walls, you maybe feel like the, the walls are coming at you at some point. It has all the rooms maybe you want. It has all the different atmospheres you want but it's still in a very confined space that has so many advantages. I totally think this is something that needs to be explored more. Maybe in very different ways as well, but the concept for me is, is something super interesting and also something I will for sure keep on thinking about. <laughs>